In this position, black has every single piece trained at the white king. However, his queen is under attack by this pawn. So, Grandmaster Akiba Rubinstein in 1907, before Stockfish, sacrificed the rook. Why? After bishop takes rook, now nobody's guarding this bishop, so bishop takes e4, queen takes e4, and queen h2 is checkmate. But wait, didn't I say that the queen was hanging? What if he takes the queen? Well, black sacrifices, you guessed it, the other rook. Once again, the idea is to get this bishop with check. Queen takes d2, bishop takes e4, white is almost at the edge of checkmate. So, white decides to hang on by giving back the queen. And now Rubinstein, instead of taking the queen, played his rook to h3. This queen is pinned, and no matter what white does, it's always gonna be a checkmate. 